Hello YouTube, this is Sonic2KK here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at variables, and how to use them, and why they are useful. So a variable is basically a, a piece of information that you can use, it's a piece of data in Python that stores a value that you can use later on, and that value can vary. That's why it's called a variable. It's it's a piece of information that you can put in Python to store information such as your player's name, how much gold he has, his XP level, uh, the, his total score, stuff like that. You would store that in a variable and that would be numbers and text. Text in Python is known as a string because it is a string of text. And to make a string, like I said in the last tutorial, it's just a string is just something in single quotes or double quotes. Everything else is a number. So. A variable is useful when you want to store a piece of information in Python that maybe the user enters or that you want to keep. Uh, if you want to make, if you want to add two numbers, then you would do that with variables. You would store the numbers in a variable and then add the variables together instead of having to use the number names explicitly. So that if you change that number again later on and you add it, you don't have to do other stuff. If that makes sense, so. You basically store information in variables. So think of a variable as a box that can hold one thing, one value. And that one value is a, either a string or a number. Remember, a string is just text. So to make a variable, what you do is you declare the variable name. Declare is just a fancy word for create the variable name to make the variable name. To declare a variable is to make a variable. So I'm going to declare or make the variable x. I'm going to call mine x and set it equal to human. Now, this is in the variable name, and this means that its value is going to be human. So, think of this as box, and it's a box called x, and equals just means we're going to put the text or string human in the box x. We're going to put the value of human into the box x into the variable x and that basically means that later on if we say print x it will print amen oh that's just my videos just finished processing that's the first tutorial by the way that's just uploading <laughs> dedication um so yeah this basically says right we're making a variable called x and we're gonna put the text or string or value amen into that x variable and then we can reference that text later on by using uh, the variable x's name. So instead of having to type Eamon, we can just type x and that saves us a lot of time. Well, it only saves us typing a few characters, but later on you'll see the importance of variables. They will come in so handy, especially with game development. They will come in so, so handy. You have no idea. Variables are used all over programming, so this is something that really needs to be drilled into your head that you understand how variables work. Because whenever I started programming, I didn't understand variables. It was one of the reasons why I stopped programming for a while, because I didn't understand variables. Python was my first language, and I didn't understand how variables worked there. And it's a very simple uh, compared to other languages. Um, in other languages, you have to declare the type of data you're going to use, whether it's going to be a string or if it's going to be a number. You have to you have to say that before you make your variable name. Where in Python, it makes it so, so easy. All you need to do is type the variable name and give it its value. And then you can just reference it later on by using the variable name. And you can make a variable uh, of any name. As long as it's not a string, you can't use a vari variable name can't be a number, a string, or a reserved Python keyword. It can be a number, but it has to, it can't start with a number. It, it can have a number somewhere in it or at the end, but it can't have a number at the start. A variable can't have spaces, but you can say, like if you want to call a variable print, you could call it underscore print as long as it doesn't begin with a python keyword and it doesn't have any spaces and it doesn't begin with a number and it doesn't have quotes like text or as a string it, you have a lot of freedom there you could have underscores in your variable 
Uh, does this work? No, you can't have special characters like that because some of them are reserved and they're special characters and you just can't use them in Python because Python says nope you can't use that sorry bro you have to use uh, other variable names now at first that might seem like oh well I can't call my variable anything well you'll soon come to realize that you don't need to call your variable stuff like that like if you have a player name say this is player name Uh, you don't really need, like if you're making a game and you have the player name, player's gold, you don't really need any of those special characters or reserved keywords um, in your variable names because it makes it confusing and I don't see why you would really want to use reserved words such as, such as print and other Python keywords that you haven't learned about yet. You can't have stuff like, you know, pluses, equals, etc. You can't have stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's it for uh, this tutorial. Just to recap, remember, we declare the variable. Declare just means make the variable. So we make the variable and we call it x and we give it the value of Eamon. Equals means that we're going to give something a value and we're giving it the value of the text Eamon. And then down here, we reference that text in the variable x by just writing the variable's name. This returns the value Eamon, which means whenever you reference it or you use its name, you or it gives you the value of Eamon. And that's why print is able to print out the value of Eamon. But I'll go over print in another tutorial when we cover another topic. So I hope you understood this tutorial. If anything wasn't clear, leave a comment and I will be sure to help you out. Uh, if there's a tutorial that you would like to see something on. Oh, it uploaded. Uh, if there's any thing that you'd like to see me do a tutorial on, whether it's programming or something else. If there's a specific thing in Python you'd like me to cover, I will probably make a video about that, maybe in another series. Um, just leave a comment saying if you liked it, disliked it, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you didn't understand, what you would like me to clear up, etc. So, once again, Thank you for watching. My name is Sam Tukake and I will see you in the next tutorial.